here with a mission, sir? Trying to get me back in the world? I'm trying to save it. I've seen your characters the most recently, and I felt like this was a really natural progression because Thor seemed to sort of settle into his maturity a little bit. And then for Cap, there was a sense of gravity. I mean, there was a sense of loss present throughout the film. I don't want to make it sound too weighty because of course it's really funny and fun as well. But how do you think that the, the sort of dynamics in the Avengers is going to carry on now into your individual storylines? Mm. Well, um, th I mean, that's kind of, yeah, that's the trick is, is when Thor comes and has a, some sort of battle on Earth or Captain America or Iron Man, you know, why isn't he calling upon his other friends? So that's the trick of the writers and the producers. <laughs> I guess they're going to have to kind of give us a, a nice segue or reason for that. Um, but Josh did a good job of, you know, leaving open the sort of loose ends that we have to tie up in our sequels and not taking anything away from them, but giving us a you know, strong purpose to be in this one. Do you feel like he'll continue to sort of reconcile himself to being this different time period? How do you think that's going to play out for you? Sure, well, I mean, he's going to have to adapt. I mean, you, we can't... We can't. New clothing, new wardrobe. Exactly. New, 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 new iPod <laughs> yeah, playlist. Yeah, mobile phone. So it's all uh, about accoutrement. Yeah. You know, he, he, can't, he can't continue to be like, what is this technology? You know, Gee Ma. Oh, man, electricity. I mean, well, hey, he's, he's got to start figuring things out, but, but it still is, and you know, there is going to take some adjusting.